Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of August 10th through August 16th. I am using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And what we have coming up on Monday is we have the Chariot in Reverse. So the Chariot in Reverse means that there's a project that we've been working on and this project has required our self-discipline and it has required the coordination with other people and maybe even the coordination of electronics as well. And so on Monday with the Chariot in Reverse, this project is on the way in. We are working on it. I feel like we're spending a significant amount of time on it on Monday, but I don't see it coming into full manifestation in our life just yet. We're still working on it. This is not saying that it won't happen. It's just saying it hasn't happened yet. So this is kind of encouragement that it's still coming in, um, but just be patient. Be patient. Don't get tired. Be diligent. Okay? So, now Tuesday, what we have coming up, fellow Scorpios, is we have the Six of Clubs in Reverse. Alright, and so the Six of Clubs in Reverse is just saying that there is a, another project. This is actually a different project that we're working on on Tuesday. And this project is one that benefits not only us, but also people around us. And I do feel like, once again, putting in a significant amount of time on this project on Tuesday. However, um, I don't feel like the project is completed yet on Tuesday. It's well underway. I'm hearing that it's well underway. Probably be done within a couple of days. But I feel like we're really putting in a significant amount of time on Tuesday. That is the overriding energy for Tuesday. Now Wednesday, what we have showing up is we have the Ace of Cups in Reverse. And the Ace of Cups in Reverse is talking about um, that we are sending out a message of love to someone around us, for some of us. Scorpios, okay, I wanna say this is coming in two ways. So for some of us, we are sending out a message of love to somebody in our lives. Could be anybody, could be a family member, could be a significant other, could be a romantic interest. Um, but it's just a message of love that come, that's coming out from us is what this card indicates. Now the other thing that this card can indicate, if you're not sending out a message of love, which hopefully everybody's sending out some kind of message of love every day, but if this is not talking about sending out a message of love, then what this could also be talking about is you may be seeing somebody's true colors on Wednesday and it may surprise you what their true colors are. So somebody that's significant in your life. So this could be somebody that you work with quite a bit or somebody in your family. Um, this could be your significant other even or it could be a romantic interest or a friend. But you're seeing their true colors and you're really surprised at, um, at what you're seeing. And in fact, um, when this card comes in upside down, then that means that if it's manifesting this way, your opinion of that person comes down a couple of notches when you see their true colors. So you're either expressing um, love to somebody around you or you're seeing somebody's true colors and it does not impress you to say the least on Wednesday. Now Thursday Scorpio is what we have coming up is we have the Three of Cups in Reverse. Three of Cups in Reverse is just talking about um, friends that are kind of rubbing us wrong on Wednesday. So we've got a friendship that's sort of giving us a hard time on Wednesday. Uh, we're just, we're not real comfortable with that. In fact, we're a little bit aggravated with that other person. Okay? So that's, um, excuse me, I was saying Wednesday. That's Thursday. I apologize. So Thursday is when we have the friend that's just kind of aggravating us. Now Friday, what we have coming up is we have a five of clubs. And the five of clubs is a cluster of inspiration. In fact, this cluster is such a tight cluster of inspiration. It can be kind of chaotic. But I see a lot of creative activity going on on Friday, and I see enough of it that it makes things kind of feel hectic and rushed and maybe like things are kind of overlapping onto each other and getting into each other's territories. So it's a little bit of chaos, but it's a lot of great creative activity going on on Friday. So a very productive day. Um, a very productive day it can be very stressful. That chaos can bring in some stress, but um, really a good day on Friday. Um, you're going to see a lot of things um, actually come to fruition. You're going to be making a lot of progress on some things that you've been wanting to work on for a while. And some of that progress is going to come due to some other friend's help, even though um, their help may be a little bit different speed or momentum than yours. And so that's kind of what's going to be leading to some of the chaos. But it really looks like a great day on Friday, actually. Now, Saturday, Scorpios. <laughs> 
<laughs> Eight of Cups. Are we tired of this card yet? This card is for relationships. This is the breakup card. If you're not happy at work, this is a walking away from the job card. But this card really talks about looking at a situation in your life and realizing that for everything that I am exerting into this situation, I'm not receiving anything back, so I'm only getting depleted here. So this is um, a situation that puts us in a place where we're ready to walk away from that. And so that's what I see for us on Saturday. I see us walking away from a situation that's depleting us. Now, Scorpios, I know we're loyal. <laughs> we're too loyal. We keep going back to the same stuff, and then we end up leaving it again. Leaving it again. When are we getting out of this cycle? That's what I want to know. Does anybody know? <laughs> All right, so Sunday, Four of Swords. Maybe I should do a reading on myself, huh? Four of Swords on Sunday. This just talks about taking a break from your everyday cares. So this could be, um, you know, just kind of walking away from the world. Maybe turning off the phone, turning off the computer. This is just taking a break, losing yourself in a good book. Maybe going for a hike, going out to the beach if you live near a beach. But taking a break. Um, yeah, just taking a break. Not just. It's not that our problems are going away. They're not. They're still there. Those problems are still waiting for us to be pick, to pick them back up, but we are just like going, ah, oh, ah, oh, relief. Okay, so I got to tell you, you guys, you know what I see when I see these two cards together, because I'm a Scorpio, and maybe this doesn't happen this way for you, but this is how it happens for me. Because I am incredibly loyal, I will walk away from a relationship, and then I will get some rest. I will have a breather, I will have a break, and then I'll think, well, what if we did this? Would this make it better? And then I'll go back into that relationship. So that's what I'm seeing coming back up for us. I see, okay, we walked away from the relationship Saturday, Sunday, we get a breather, maybe Monday we take as a breather. I think by Tuesday we're going to be back in. That's what I think. We'll see what happens, huh? So, Scorpios, that is your week. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, please feel free to check out my website. I am adamista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you're there and you've looked around, if you still feel like I am the best reader for you, then feel free to contact me, and we will schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. Right now, my wait list is not that long, so I could probably be able to help you the day that you contact me or the next day. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. I really do appreciate all your support, and I'm looking forward to all the readings that I'm going to be doing for you guys over the years, and I thank you for all the readings that I've done for you so far. Everyone have a wonderful week. I'll see you here next week. Peace out.